What's up everybody? My name is Gunther Oka and welcome to the channel. I'm a professional wakeboarder and water sports enthusiast of all sorts, also a liquid force team athlete. Today we're going to be doing a little ride along review with the 2021 liquid force wake foamy fish. This is going to be a brand new wake surfer in the lineup and something new to liquid force too. Um, so I'm really pumped to do this review. Let's get started. Right behind us here, just showed up on the doorstep a couple days ago. So we'll pull this guy out. Coming all wrapped up pretty much from nose to tail. I brought the knife for a reason. Use gently though. I love unboxing new things. It's like I get a little mini Christmas surprise uh, every time something shows up at the doorstep and I get to share it with you guys too, which is like just as fun. This is our uh, 4.8 Wake Foamy. The little twin fin guy. All right, all right. Enter the 4.8 Wake Foamy's Fish. Pretty stoked to have this board in my hands, under the arms, and just in my possession and ready to rip. Uh, this is a brand new wake surfer in the 2021 lineup, and the whole Wake Foamies lineup is also something that's just brand new. So, you know, we're pretty pumped as Liquid Force to be incorporating a foam top board that comes at a fraction of the price of the glass boards and giving you similar performance, but definitely like more durability and just something you can kind of throw on and off the boat. When it's in your hands, you know, it just feels really nice. It's a very simple shape with the swallow tail on the back, twin fin, two fin inserts as well, calling the gecko grip traction deck layup here. So, you know, it just feels soft underneath the feet. You don't have to worry about catching your shins on the rails or anything like that. It's just gonna be nice and forgiving. Let's talk about this shape too. So looks like here, we've got a pretty flat rocker line and not only have a flat rocker line, but we don't really have anything going on on the bottom. I mean, no concave, no channels. So just something super simple and, and basic really. And that's kind of the best part I think is that it doesn't need to be anything too crazy here, um, but it looks like it's gonna be super fast and then just enough nose rocker to where you're not gonna be nose diving this thing, it should stay up on surf like the whole time really and then you know we've got a little bit wide belly here too it should give you plenty of float in the back and like some nice drive down the line but then that pulled in tail i think will really help get those fins loose and kind of lob some airs maybe with the construction of this foam top layup i wouldn't recommend leaving it in the sun or leaving it in board racks but i think it'll be nice and durable um, and that's the whole concept of a foam top as well so this board rings in at 399, so pretty uh, reasonable if you want to add this thing to your quiver. Moving on to like where the little fin boxes are here and how this thing is going to lay up as a twin fin. On your fins, they're going to come together kind of back to back. So you'll notice that one side is quite flat and the other side is somewhat like rounded off here. So it's quite important that when you put the fins in the board that the rounded off side stays on the outside and the sleek flat part stays on the inside. It is just gonna really help the fins engage the way they were designed to, create that flex, create that speed. I'll pop these guys in and it should just pop right in like that and I wanna make sure it's sitting flush on the board and do the same thing. You can see what I'm talking about, how this fin just kind of slightly angled out. So, And then from there, take that fin key, slide it in. Just a little bit to tension it down, make sure you don't lose one out there. Don't want that to happen, but not too much though. Switch to the other side, make sure it's in nice and deep. There we go. And booyah, baby. We're locked and loaded and uh, ready to give this thing a ride. So yeah, all in all, excited to see what uh, I can get done. I'm not too much of a wake surfer, but this board's definitely making me want to get out for a little wake surf. So with that in mind, I say it's time uh, we go hit the lake and give this a little ride along review. Let's hit it. What is up guys? We picked a beautiful day to come out here and uh, give this little wake foamy fish a review. So probably should be wakeboarding, but instead we're going for a little wake surf. So pumped to try this thing out. Got my trusty twin fins all uh, hooked up on here. So let's go uh, beat this thing up, see what we can do. Got my Kosi's, got the Axis A24 juiced up, a little bit of extra weight in here. Got 
the O'Neill Outlaw comp vest and the fish. I'd say we're working with a pretty good combo. All right, so what I'm expecting out of this board is definitely want some speed. I don't want to be struggling down the line. Um, you know, some good pop, just some good overall traction under the feet, especially with the foam top here. That's like pretty important. And then, you know, how, how durable is this thing? Can I beat it up? And is it gonna, is it gonna survive the test? So let's see what we can do. This thing fits pretty well in the pocket. Um, you know, I'm on like wedge three on the axis, so it's definitely pretty steep, but the board has a four eight, isn't too long. It's fitting in that pocket pretty nicely. And it's still allowing me to make some pretty good snaps and just like overall maneuver through the wave really well. Um, I'm feeling like these fins could be a little bit stronger or like stiffer, maybe even bigger and just help me kind of have a little bit more grip up the wave, but we'll keep it going. Uh, range is fun. Holds the speed. Fin holds, but you can also break them loose. So maybe I'll take my words back about little stiffer fins, bigger fins. Uh, foam deck, pretty good. It could be a little grippier maybe. So if you got some wax, maybe you could slap some on there and be really sticking up. But dang, I'm smiling near to ear right now. That's super fun. Break foamy, indestructible. An insane price point for such a quality wake surfer and man I just had a blast on that thing so head over to your local retailer you should definitely check one of these out add it to the quiver this summer foam top hand it off to the little kids they can take it down to the dock and uh, you definitely don't have to worry about them scratching this thing up or damaging it so all in all I think I'm sold that could be my favorite wake surfer ever 4-8 wake foamy fish that's a wrap thanks for watching Whew.